Hey guys, the boy here from Tennis House. So today, I will talk about the forehand and some technical aspects on the forehand. Um, yeah, if you wanna have a good forehand technically, you need to uh, have a couple of checkpoints. So the first thing is, so where, right before your opponent hits, we split always. We need that split to change direction. We don't know where the ball's gonna go. So your arms are out, keep your arms out. If you have your arms in, you're most likely gonna rotate too much internally here and then you're gonna slap that ball. So keep your arms at the beginning out, very important. Have a comfortable grip. So when you don't know where the ball is going, make sure that your left hand is on the racket part right here. And the left hand turns your racket and adjusts your racket hat for you. So you don't squeeze the racket, you open your hand up and the left hand gets you to the grip you need to have. Now I'm a one-hander so I can turn my racket right this and I have the right grip. So we have the arms out, we slightly bend, we split. So now it's key, the left hand stays on the heart. Okay, so I, I always say to my players, no matter what happens now, if you split and turn, the ball comes somewhere to your forehand, now you're in the perfect position to search the ball and you're ready. Too many players at the recreational level, they just run to the ball and hit that over and everything is rushed. You barely see a Roger Federer rushed or a Novak because they're so awesome in getting ready and turning. So once you split and turn and you got to the ball, and you're loaded, you're perfectly set up, right? So your arms are here. Now what happens is the left arm separates, and then some players take the racket back here, like my friend Dami Zumbo, he has the strings pointing there, right? And then that, like players like Roger, they go down a little bit earlier here, like um, Rick Macy said, tapping the box hat here, and then they pull and hit, and the hip snap in, and the racket goes in a lag position. So I'm one of the players, so I go down here, and now when my hips start to snap in, my racket starts to go in a leg position, right? So my hip snaps in, and my left arm, try to keep that left arm level with the shoulder here, and you pull a little bit to, to create power and control. So now when you're out here, you drop the racket here, the hip snapped in, now the racket catches up. Try to have the contact a little bit in front of your front foot, you stay balanced, so important, right? And now when you hit that ball, you follow through as long as you can, and then you finish. So the finish is, depends what you hit, right? So if you hit a forehand with an angle, you might finish pocket to pocket. If you hit a lob, you might finish a little bit higher. If you hit through the ball, you might finish a little bit medium height. So it all depends what kind of ball you hit, obviously, right? But in a perfect world and scenario, on a regular shot, you want to split turn, search the ball, let the racket go down here, snap the hips in, racket, like on the Bolteri old school, butt cap points forward, right? Hips snapped in, the racket catches up, left arm stays level, you follow through, you go up, and you finish, and when you finish, you start it here with the belly button, and then bell button points to the other side. That's how much they coil and uncoil when they hit their forehand. So when the ball, put the ball, it looks like like this. There you go. And again. Again. So, easy concept, hard to do, a lot of effort and work to improve your forehand. And I just wanted to show you a couple of important. Uh, things you have to consider when you hit the forehand.